actress, Diane Keaton. I, I wanted to be a presenter at this year's Women of Worth uh, celebrations, right? So of course I said, yeah, okay, fine, no problem, no big deal, no big deal, right? And then one week ago, L'Oreal sent uh, some talking points for tonight's gathering, but they also um, they also sent me the clip that we just saw, and oh my God, let's just say, big deal, okay? Very big deal. Because I really wasn't prepared for Wilma and Sandy and Kevin. Anyway, when I was young, I was told that I should look forward to the golden years. You know, because I would retire and I would get a gold watch. <laughs> and, and people would toast me and then I'd do a lot of sightseeing for the rest of my life. I bet you remember that Sunday morning anyway, right? That promise of the golden years. Well, what a joke. What a utter joke. Because think of it this way, all right? Just think of it. So let's say you're 84, right? And let's say you kind of fell on hard times and end up living in a nursing home. And let's say that you're lonely, and let's say you have medical bills, but let's say this too. You still have your dreams, and you still have your wishes, and then let's say that there's a nurse, right? And she's nice, and she's pretty, and she listens to you tell her about, hey, you want to go to Grand Canyon? You want to go to Radio City Music Hall too? Or say, like Wilma, you just want to be reunited with your granddaughter one last time. You don't think like that. Well, you can. You really can. Because a nurse named Kimberly Iverson had a dream of her own. And she also had the courage and the smarts to organize it into reality. Kimberly, look, listen, I know it's really not my place, um, but I, you know, I could yaddle on like this, but because of your inspiration, you know what? I have a dream too. So here's my idea. My idea is sort of a dream, but how about we just wipe this whole golden years fiction off the face of the earth and we replace it with the bucket list foundation. <laughs>
and she's really why I'm here today. Um, yes, I'm a hospice nurse, and um, my mission is to grant wishes to terminally ill seniors after working with them for 20 years and growing up in a nursing home with my grandfather being in a nursing home administrator. There's a, often a huge misconception that just because you're 70, 80, 90 years old, that you've checked everything off your bucket list, that you've achieved everything that you want to achieve, and that's just not the case. Most of our senior citizens, a rising generation with the baby boomer generation, actually there's 10,000 that are turning 65 every day until the 2019. So it's a growing generation. They haven't checked things off their bucket list. They have needs, they have hopes, they have aspirations, they have things that they want to do, but now they're sick. And they needed someone to bridge that gap. Someone to come in and say, you know what, what's on your bucket list? What can I do to help you live today? And that's what Bucket List Foundation is doing every day. We've granted 58 wishes so far in the last um, couple years. We're just in Arizona right now. We're hoping to expand. I'm just so blessed to be here, and I am so grateful for L'Oreal for recognizing our cause, for recognizing the senior citizens that truly make our nation what it is today. Thank you so much for giving us this opportunity. She's the president and